A Fond du Lac woman who was charged after two puppies were doused with bleach was in court for the first time today. Prosecutors say Amanda Farr did nothing after her 10-year-old son poured chemicals on the animals. The six-week-old dogs are still recovering at the Fond du Lac Humane Society, and a third puppy was also found but not hurt. Fox 11's Chad Dorn was in court today and has our balanced coverage. Prosecutors say what happened to these puppies has people outraged. I think any time, whether it's children or animals, they're uh, often in a defenseless position and, and people take exception uh, when they feel situations like this develop. And the attorney for 30-year-old Amanda Farr agrees, at least on that point. Every animal case, frankly, gets a lot of attention and, and there's a lot of outrage over the allegations. According to the criminal complaint, Farr's son admitted to pouring bleach on two dogs and throwing one of them in a dumpster. Prosecutors would not say if the boy will be charged. Farr did not want to comment after court, but her attorney says he's surprised at how quickly the district attorney filed charges in this case. I guess I can see why they want to move this forward. Uh, if at any point we believe that moving forward quickly will not give her a fair shake, we're going to slow it down or ask the court to slow it down. We wanted to make sure from our end we were doing things we could to help the case move along swiftly. The dogs are still recovering. Fond du Lac Humane Society manager Renee Webb provided Fox 11 this picture taken Tuesday morning. Webb says the shelter is thankful for the community support it received. People love animals in our area, and when we get into crisis, people do step up and they, and they do what they can to try to help. Webb says one of the dogs will be heading to a new home next week, while the other two should be ready for adoption soon. In Fond du Lac, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Farr was given a $2,500 signature bond. She will be back in court on March 27th.